Hey, what's going on to YouTube? It's your boy still coming at you with a very fast ever breaking down the pro series, man. In today's video, we're gonna break down one of the best in the game. He's been one of the best in the game for years, and we're gonna see exactly how he becomes the best. What he does to make himself one of the best players in the world. With that being said, I hope you guys like the video. Comment down below. Let me know if you learned something from this video and subscribe to the channel for more. With that being said, let's go ahead and break down he has Biffle. All right, cool. So this is a video he posted literally today. Um, we're gonna break him down. So it's him, Shifty, Brolic, Selly. He's in a two v two. He won. He ended up winning this tournament. And so this is just gonna be breaking down his gameplay here, so you can see what how he thinks, how he operates, how he moves, things like that. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna break down his gameplay and see exactly why he's the number one player in the world. So they're doing the high the high mode, where you see starts with the <laughs> RPG. I was actually crazy how you got a sniper right there. So as you see, control is a hot spot. Control, when you land on Rebirth Island, control is one of the hottest spots, if not the hottest spot on the game. All right? You see how he's staying moving. He's always moving. So as you see, the, the, there's not a lot to break down right here. I mean, I guess I guess if you want to go back, right? You let, let's go back and look at his first kill. We go back and look at his first kill right here. So he got sniped. He he doesn't have any health, so he needs a plate up. That's first. As you see, he's always playing his cover right here. Always playing in cover. He's looting, playing his cover, doing everything he can to make sure he he no matter what happens, even if someone pulls up to him, he's always has some type of cover or some type of heady something to keep him. Um, to keep his body intact. All right, so in this, hip fire is king. Hip fire is king. Hip fire is. I'm gonna say it again. Hip fire is king. So you're gonna see right here. Again, play up. A lot of people, including me, I'm, I have the same habit. I have the same habit of doing that. I I aim down sight first before I shoot. You see this guy right here, and the time it's going to take for you to aim towards him, he's, you're, that's how your camera gets broken and everything else. Hip fire is king. Make sure you're hip firing your gun to get at least a couple bullets in while you center your aim before you aim down sight. Hip fire, got a couple of shots in. And now look, before he even aims down sight, the guy is now broken. He has now broken his armor before he even aims down sight. Then he aims down sight, gets the finish. That's the first kill. High alert is just great right there. Nice. Yeah, and this building, it's all about movement. Just up, down, all around. I love control. Oh, that's, that's Look at this. Once again, hip fire. Going back to that again. Hip fire. And as you he only took uh, one gun and he's just moving. He took one gun and he's moving. As you see here, he decided to move from control. He Control was just a little bit too hot. And since he's playing in a tournament... I was just a good player right there. Since he's playing in a tournament for over twenty thousand dollars, he decided, okay, me dying is not the best thing. Even though he died right there, you know, he wants to go ahead and do the best he can. The RPG is all across the floor because of this game mode. This game mode, if you haven't played it, is super fun. It, it to me is what Rebirth should play like. It's just super fun. All, once you have all the gummies, you run CS super fast. Good. You re, you reload fast. You don't take fall damage. Yeah. This is just really good. It's just I just love how this plays. Uh, that guy kind of sold by pushing that. I mean, he had the advantage. I understand why he pushed it, but <laughs> that's the best in the game. He's going to have those shots, you know? But even even going back to that gunfight, even going back to that gunfight, let's go back and look at that really quick. Going back to that gunfight, you see how he won that. See how he won this gunfight, right? He won his gunfight by using his heady, using the, the, the cover around him. In this area right here. So, look, he has the cover... Right here to the left, he has a cover right there to the right. Ne neither one is the best cover. The best thing you can do in a situation if somebody has high ground on you is use the heady of the stairs, which is exactly what he did. So instead of pushing all the way up, you leave your body exposed. At this point, he's already about to be cracked. I mean, I mean, to be honest. He just he just snaking the stairs, snaking the stairs. All right, and then at this point, he now has some crack. The guy pushes. Which means his gun is up in the air and attack sprint, and he just hit fire, hit, hit fire, and then aim down sight because he has that advantage. Using the stair heady 
forcing the guy to be very impatient and then push. And I'm loving watching this, man. If you guys are enjoying this type of video, you guys like this style of video where I break down professional uh, Warzone players, put down in the comments down below. Because I'm sitting here breaking down everything that I see, that I know how to do, and I'm learning some stuff myself. That right there was just good gunning. Like that, there's nothing to coach there. That was just the best gunning in the world right there. Centering, centering, that centering, centering, centering. That second gunfight was just him having good centering. Just that, yeah, that, that, that was just good shots. That was good shots. This next gunfight right here is all centering. He hears somebody he knows is in the hallway. He sees him right here. He sees him right here, so he knows he's right here. So what does he do? He centers. He gets his crosshair lined up to where his chest would be. Chest would be right here. And then boom, right on his chest level. Centering. You center him where, where you know they're going to be, and then you put yourself in a better situation by doing that. Okay, so he saw he didn't have the angle there. I disengage. You gotta know when to disengage from fights. I try to force him to fight it. I mean, me personally, I do that. Stops too. But this is why I said you gotta force it. You cannot force him to fight these gunfights. Nice. Gonna go down to this gas. No, he's not gonna go down to the gas. Cause the best player in the world is not gonna go down to gas. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, mind you, he only has nine kills right now. But this is a rebirth tournament. There's not a lot of teams left. He sees all of his teammates are dying over there, so he decides not to go over there. I'm tired because I'm staying up all night and early morning pumping on these videos for you guys. If you guys show me that you guys rock with me, you guys love this video, drop a like on this video, man, so we can get more content out for you guys, man. I'm about to climb up the ladder. He hears him. Caught him off guard. There's one. There's two. That was just good timing. That was just good timing right there. Get shot in his back. Oh, my God. Bro. Most people don't understand what he just did right here and this is what makes him the best okay let, let, let's 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 go back let's go back here so he's 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 shooting right here he downs this too he hears somebody behind him so he pushes up the stairs as he's planning up goes up there he gets shot remind you a lot of people don't know where people get shot from you have a dand a damage indicator Right here at the bottom. That's a damage indicator. Letting you know where you're getting shot from. And this tells you the exact location. It could be over here. It could be over here. It tells you exactly where you're getting shot from. It's what if it's white, that means you got shot for plates. If it's red, that means you got shot for health. So, so he uses that. He knows that he has someone behind him. He goes for the finish. As he's going for the finish, he strafes to the left inside the doorway to avoid the person shooting him in the back. Decides to put up, use this as a heady. No, he's gonna be pushed. Just, just good centering, good angles. Using his angles and centering right there. After he gets the finish, you see right there. Here's a better angle of it. Right here, I don't know if you zoom in. There you go. Right there, that's a better angle. You see, there's an arrow above the circle. That means this person is above him, which means he's climbing up those stairs on the right hand side. Using the mini map and knowing her angles and how to read a mini map is was what is what's gonna make you a great player. Yeah, there's a lot of people on top of that. When you people are gonna camp water tower. Okay, so okay. Got the first knock. Very patient, waits for the second one instead of pushing. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. This is where I would die. Because I would I would chow that. I would chow that. And this is what makes him the best and makes me not the best. I would have chowed that second guy. The first guy, easy knock. Easy knock. You see him right here. He, he, center, he lines it up, centers it. At this point, you see this two. At this point, you see there's two people. Obviously, one right here, one right there. You get shots on the first guy, you knock him. Okay, boom, knock. He, once again, jumps over to the left side of the wall to keep the angle on this guy and break the LOS of the second guy. LOS is line of sight. So that way, the second guy does not see him. After you get the first knock. It looks like he's going to chow him at this point, which is what I would have done. I would have jumped out and chowed him, but by doing that, I probably would have died because I would have left myself in a wide open area right here, and that guy would have had that trash can as a head. But instead of doing that, he decides to keep playing this wall, get a couple shots off, does a drop shot, and boom, now he has two. And then this third guy, he just guns because he has the best gunning. Yeah, that's just. But just these small things help these people. 
Once again, he sees two. He already knows what he's going to do. Boom. Double checking. He's getting pings on everybody. He's going to fly in. And he's going from 9 kills to 16 kills in less than like 30 seconds. Good shots on that. As you see, he's hip firing before everything because hip fire is king. Using his audio right here. Yeah. Use your audio. Even though rebirth audio is really bad right now. The, the audio on rebirth is really bad. If you know what to listen for, it's not as bad. Nice. Live pinging, live pinging, live pinging. This is how you track people. This is another way how people always say, how does he know where I am? Live pinging is king, okay? Live ping is, there's, there's, there's a lot of kings I said in this video already. Use your mini map, live pinging, information, information, information. He got away from him right there, but because he live pinged him, he could track where he's going to be. No, he's going downstairs, upstairs, whatever the case may be. If you have a pro controller, make sure you, you know, for me, I use this button right here to live ping. I have a back button, so as I shoot, I live ping, and so that, so that way if they go left or right or whatever the case may be, I have them live ping so I know where they are. Live pinging is helping you to track people. And this is, you know, Diaz, Biff was just one of those people who just abuses mechanics in the game. Live ping is one of those mechanics. You just abuse these mechanics. Use as you can. Buying this. And then hip firing. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> and that just ends it, bro. He buys this drone to get up there knowing that that's where the last guy is. And then hip, because you can hip fire off of this. You can hip fire while using this. And just hip fire, gets headshots while he hip fires. And just hip fires the entire time. That right there is how the number one player in the game gets 19 kills and ends up winning the $20,000 2v2 Rebirth Resurgence Tournament. Man. If you guys want more gameplay from pros and where I sit down, I break down, I show you tips and tricks of how pros do it because they're better than me. But I'll show you how pros do it to make yourself a better player. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel down below. With that being said, it's your boy Coach Stu, and I'll see you next time. Peace.